Hi and welcome to installing Tiny Me onto your hard drive. And it's very quick and simple. Let me just go through the process with you. First we're going to click on Install Tiny Me. That little icon there near the centre of the screen. And need your root password, which is from the live CD root. And we get to change that later. So here we are. Start coming up with the installation wizard, which is track live here. And we just click on next. It's a normal hard drive, not a USB. So we click on next again. I'm going to use all the free space because I know it's completely empty. And we click on next again. And it's just telling you that it's going to actually wipe everything on that particular disk. But that's fine with us because it's empty anyway. We click on next and it's now formatting the partitions, which is your swap partition, your home partition and the root partition. I think that's HDA 1, 5 and 6 on here. It takes a little bit of time, but not too long. If you've got a, an average machine, maybe about 4 or 5 years old, it may take about 10 minutes. It all depends on how much RAM you've got. But even so, it's a lot less than some of the other OS's out there. I'm going to click on next again install the system to your partitions and it will start doing its work for you. This is the longest part of it. You can copy all the files over and installing. As you can see on the right hand side there at the top the CPUs doing plenty of work. This bit doesn't take too long. I know I've done this uh, videos before about installing to hard drive but every system is a bit different so I thought I'd just let you see how it is so if you do it yourself you know what to look for because sometimes it can be a bit frightening if you've never done it before but as you can see this one is quite easy and simple and it's all on the interface you've got nothing to fear it's now creating our mount points for our uh, partitions that doesn't take too long either. I've not had to edit the video too much at all really. I just didn't want it to go on for 10-11 minutes. Otherwise everybody gets bored of watching. Right, we're going to load with Grub. So we click next. Do you want to change any of them? No, not really. So we click finish. And now we get to set our root password. So, I'll put in the new root password for the hard disk install. And we'll click on next when we've done that. And now you put in your users. So there's me, Sneaky Linux. You put in a password for the user. Password again. And then we click on accept user. They can add other users here, but I'm just going to keep to the one for now. Right now it wants us to restart the machine. So what I'm going to do here is just stop the video slightly and go straight to the rebooted machine. As I said before, it does get stuck on the live CD. Right, there we are. Booted back in. We put in our password. your fully installed tiny me operating system. Now that didn't take long at all. But to be really honest, for the size of the CD you get a pretty good operating system. I've only just started playing with this hard disk install really. But I found it really easy to use. Everything's in the right place if you know what I mean. There's our file system and home system. Got a swap file up there. I'll just have a quick look around before we finish too. All the programs here, Opera, Email and the Gnome. So we'll go to Network. <coughs> and there are all the programs. Even BitTorrent if you're in D's and that sort of thing. Here's the puppy control... puppy, silly me. The PCC Control Centre. This is tiny me. 
wants our password because we'll be able to change things. That's a little one to load. And here you can actually configure things, everything you need to. But what we're going to do here is set up our uh, network for internet. That's the word load. Yeah, we've got Ethernet, so that's next for us. Yeah, that's my PCI card. We'll click next again. Yes, we're going to do automatic IP. So these inboxes clicked and click on next. And that's another next there to start at boot. And yes, we do want to start connection now, so we'll do next again and finish. I think we're all done there. So that's our network done, as you can see, we've got some pings down there in the network section on the system monitor. We'll click on Opera, and you have to accept their little rules there because it's actually non free Opera. But they do let you to spread it about a bit. So I'm going to agree there, and it boots straight into the Opera screen. Which is quite nice, it's 9.5. Make sure it works, I'll go to the good old BPC. There you go. That looks to be working all nice. And basically, there you have it. We have a fully installed operating system on quite a low machine. And you may do everything you really want to. Have a go, have a play, tell me what you think. Thank you.